This piece is a table with curved legs from bent lamination and a top of thick air dried cherry. We start with a glue up of the many laminations that make up the arches that will turn into legs. The laminations are firmly clamped into a form to make the arch. Lots of clamps, about 25. The arch is taken to the jointer and then planer to make them flat and even thickness. And of course, clean off all that excess glue. The now clean and squared up arch is then cut in half to start turning them into legs. We then turn to a glue up of the thick tabletop, making sure to use even clamping pressure. The bottom side of the top is then back cut on the shaper to reduce the visual weight of the table. Then we use the same angled shaper cutter to cut a small chamfer in the top. Returning to the legs, we angle cut the arch to sit flush with the table top. Then the challenge is to make the ends of the stretchers between the legs match the curve of the arch with no gap. So we make a jig to hold the stretcher. We got a perfect match after a bit of fussing. We cut a test piece in the jig to verify the match of the curve. Next challenge was to mark the exact center of the legs to cut the loose tenon joinery for the stretcher. And then cut the mortises in the legs using a pantograph based route. Finally, we shape the curve in the stretcher end with a backing block clamped to the jig to prevent tear art.
And of course, a dry fit of the stretcher to the leg assembly using our studio made loose tenon. The half lap joints in the stretchers are refined with a rasp and a bevel marking knife. Here is the finished table from the bottom beam. And the finished table from the normal view. The cherry will darken with age to that beautiful, warm, reddish brown we all associate with cherry. We hope you have enjoyed the making of a modern curved leg cherry wood end table. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. The Noble Artisan, handcrafted woodwork, heirloom quality.